He appeared to have meditated six years approximately. His name is Ram Bahadur Bonja. It's amazing to believe that one can survive without food, without water for years. Now, what does that tell us about the mind? You know, where the aspects of the mind can go to. You know, he appeared to have meditated for a year and due to so much distraction from his, um, his local village or local area, you know, he appeared to have disappeared and reappeared in Nepal. And uh, there he carried on his meditation practices. Now, he actually vanished from the spot that he was meditating at. You know, there's so much information about this on YouTube, online, that one can research. He started his uh, meditation practice at a very, very young age. And in 2005, he decided to take this trip. Um, well, he decided to meditate under this tree. This tree was supposed to be where, um, you know, the, his, his guides or whoever of that nature must have contacted him and told him this was the time or this was the location that and um, you know it's so inspiring to see that one can go beyond the desire of you know needing to eat needing to you know have food have water you know and go beyond the physical desires we are trapped in this physical um, desire realm of living. So when you identify that, you realize that there's a higher perspective of the mind. Everyone has the possibility to actually attain this. This is what partly what he was trying to show us. Now, I suggest you do some research online. And, and see this clearly for yourself. It's amazing.